Okay, we're back again. Jim Pettibone here. Discovered on doing our... Uh, picking our jobs. Oh, let's see, just jump in here for a second. Uh, let's see if I can illustrate. Uh, if you click on a job like this, where there's no truck... Oh, now there's a truck. No? Yeah, no truck. There's Kenworth. There's Kenworth. There's no truck. Click on that. Game goes away. Future reference. So that's... <laughs> and that's what happened. I, I was going to get another job. And there was three jobs going to Sacramento. Stocked in Sacramento. <clears throat> Despite the fact we discovered it, we haven't delivered a load there. So we're going back to deliver the load. So let's go back to here, and this is what we're driving. We're taking a tank from Reading to Sacramento, uh, just under 10 hours con under under the contract, or on the contract, and job income of uh, not quite $2,500. I know I'm not making a lot, but it's building up. We're at 80, almost 87000 almost $20,000 short of buying this truck, but there are some cheaper, cheaty trucks out there that I can buy when the time comes. So this is a Peterbilt 379 stand-up sleeper with a 455 horsepower engine. Uh, doing 1,650 foot-pounds of torque, 13-speed transmission. And since I'm still driving company trucks, repairs are covered by your employer, towing is covered by your employer, tolls are covered by your employer. And they get more money. I think if this job I was driving my own truck, I think this job would probably be probably closer to well probably a little over three thousand hard to guess but from what I from what I can remember doing this and looking at them I think there's like anywhere from two-thirds to three-quarters of the price I think it's closer to two-thirds so this would probably be about a thirty six hundred dollar job if I had my own truck so let's get down here and kind of lined up the truck to get my get my picture and let's hop in the cab. Let's set the parking brake. Let's start the engine. And let's turn on the running lights. Because we'll be there. Uh, we should be there before dark. Let's put it in gear. There's no discoverables on the way down. And. I was kind of torn about taking if I go and just click on here that takes me completely off I-5 and adds uh, uh, 18 minutes to the trip but then I avoid the scales here on I-5 And that puts me coming down this. But this is 50, 55 also, I think. So I'm kind of, oh, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, do But I need to discover the road, too. And there's more discoverable road here than there is this little section uh, here. I've already discovered from here down. So I guess we're going to take the, take the old I-5 there. So anyway, all ready. We're all ready to go. Let's get ourselves comfy in the seat here. And since this is a SCS truck, I can actually use the left-hand mirror for 
purposes. Okay, let's take off the parking brake. And head for the flag. Okay, it looks clear both ways. It's got to remember in the city and no more than 30. Which means I can speed up a little bit. Oh, and I can speed up a little bit more. Now. More. Well, I got two gears to go. Cows. Got cows. So, again, we're getting the point of I'm driving too much to keep myself or keep, oh, our speeding, keep my uh, watchers occupied, running out of subject material. Oh, 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 well, oh, cut the corner just a little bit. Ticket book in hand. Well, need to slow down just a little bit. I'll put that on there, 454. Well, you want to come alongside me so bad, then there. There was a little plane flying around there a minute ago. I was looking at something else that had disappeared, so it's probably behind me now. That's there flying 24 hours a day. run over this car that's
could have changed lanes. Yeah, now you change lanes. Oh yeah. Yeah, it figures. Oh, oops. Now we have to get off here and then like drop speed almost immediately. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, none of you are getting off anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. Total gross weight, almost 61,000 pounds. And make sure that you only stay under 15 until this thing goes up. Because I got ticketed accelerating on the freeway. I started accelerating off the scale and I was up to about 30 when the cop drove by on the freeway and got me for doing 30 and a 15. That's what I was torn about, whether I took that side road off here on the right hand side or not. I would have taken that, I could have avoided the scale. I would have come out here. Oh, set the cruise control again. And we don't need fuel. Another reason I, you know, another reason I started doing this YouTubing, recording all of these sessions, is because when they had the what was it the or it's still available the uh, Mex can Mex or Mex can uh, map uh, remapping I was up in I was up driving in Canada on that uh, uh, Odd. I came to a place where there was a just a horrendously steep hill that I wound up taking first gear and uh, uh, I left in the comments and somebody else's uh, about this you know horrendously steep hill that the car even the cars are having a hard time getting up there was a big pile of cars at the top of the hill and uh, so he drove the route the opposite way. It's flat. And there was something else too that I did that I put on somebody's uh, comment section of their And, uh, again, they went and drove that same area, and they didn't have any problems. So, now I more or less have, uh, doing this, and every time I drive, I really don't edit a whole lot, or very much at all. Uh, turn on the head, whoops, turn on the headlights. Because we're going in right here. Uh, I don't edit hardly anything unless I've, you know, had to. Okay, what do we got? 15, that's easy. Uh, that may not be real hard, but we'll try it. Okay. 
but uh, you know, I now I have, you know, I can go and I can go online and you know, well, this is a, this is what I ran into at such and such a point, and you know, that really steep hill that I ran into. You know, I go well. Yeah, just check out my, check out my video, and there it is. There's the proof. But you know, if I was the only one to have a problem with it, then you know, either something messed up in my mods or my mod collection. Okay, four-way flashers reverse. Reverse, there we go. Okay, well that was relatively nice. Let me turn off our four-way flasher, set our parking brake, and decouple here. Excellent job, 182 miles, four hours and 21 minutes, 38 gallons of fuel. Made $2,477 and 237 experience points. And short video kind of like that anyway so I thank you for watching I want to thank um, James Wormsley for subscribing and again if you want to keep keep if you like what you see if you like what I'm doing press like I have 18 of those so far but not for American truck uh, if you want to subscribe to keep following what I'm doing here, I'm also doing well doing the same thing on Euro Truck Simulator 2, but it's going to be a lot longer before I ever buy a truck for that one. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Uh, any comments, any questions, any answers, uh, I, I won't take offense. Anyway, thank you for watching again, and uh, we'll be doing this again in a day or two.